I chose this topic because I'm passionate about strength conditioning. One of my favorite exercises is the deadlift, uh, and I wanted to learn which variations of the deadlift uh, would help develop power and speed most uh, efficiently. Um, for the summary of my results, uh, for the first article, it kind of focused on like banded deadlifts for non-banded, uh, and like uh, it showed no real effect on the muscle activation, uh, but uh, power and the band tension had a direct relationship uh, with peak and average power. Uh, the non-banded uh, condition had a lower velocity than all of the banded trials. Uh, for Article 2, it focused on um, using chains with the deadlift. Uh, and these results showed that the chains increased peak and average force of all the trials. Uh, however, the, the peak velocity, average velocity, peak power, and average power all decreased with the additions of chains. Uh, this, this study did show, however, that like when you perform a deadlift, even without chains, uh, explosively, it produces uh, high amounts of velocity and power. For the third article, it focused on uh, either using a mid-thigh pull or a mid-shin mid, uh, pull uh, to kind of find out the one rep max of your deadlift. And if there's a correlation, uh, the, the mid-thigh pull had a higher peak force uh, and rate of force development than the mid-shin pull. However, the, the mid-shin pull showed a greater correlation with the, uh, the one rep max of a deadlift. So, uh, you know, uh, for the fourth article, it focused on um, wearing shoes versus barefoot uh, with deadlifts. Uh, the, unsho the unshoed trials showed a higher average rate of force development than the shoe. Uh, they both had uh, similar average peak force. Um, and at 60% of the one rep max, subjects were able to generate more power for both uh, conditions. Finally, with my fifth article, uh, focused on using a, a hex bar uh, versus a conventional bar. Uh, and the peak power generated by the hex bar was showed to be almost 50% uh, higher than the conventional bar. Uh, the peak velocity was also higher. Um, but the distance was shorter for the lift with the hex bar since the handles are up higher and it took 25% less time. Uh, so that explains why it was higher. Uh, uh, for what I most enjoyed, I most enjoyed reading the, uh, the shoe versus unshoed just because it's like something most people wouldn't think of. Uh, and I definitely learned the most from the, uh, the hex bar. Um, and that leads me into, uh, my last towards the end of the, the preseason. If I'm training athletes, I want to be a strength conditioning coach. Uh, I would definitely implement banded trap bar deadlifts just to kind of finish off their training. Uh, that's what the most of the practical things recommended. So yeah, that was my video.